Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to upgrade your Half-Life Opposing Force and Half-Life Blue Shift installation. If you've got both and you want to do it, that's great. If you only want to do one, you just follow you know, basically that part of the video. I'll show you at the same time really, so copying some folders over to HD. So this assumes that you've got Opposing Force and or Blue Shift already installed and working on your Oculus Quest. If not, I will provide a link in the description to my oculus quest playlist which has that and that shows you how to do it plus obviously getting side quest set up and getting you know half-life we're using lambda one vr in general setup as well okay so to do it, it's really simple obviously you need to not own posing force and blue shift if you want this i use the steam version feel free to use another version if you have it the first thing is that you need to download something called HL Gold. So I will provide a link to this page. And if you scroll down to HL Gold, click the download button. This will take you to another ready page. From here, click the download button here. Take it to a Google Drive page and then just right click. Download, download anyway. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it. Make sure you also download something like 7-Zip so you can actually extract the application i covered this in the previous video so because you need that video to progress with this you should be all good but this is where you can download 7 zip from and install it next thing that we want to do is connect our headset up so let's connect it up so this is for windows as you can see i will be doing separate videos on how to install posing for some blue shift on mac linux and also separate videos on how to upgrade it to hd so feel free to check them out and I've just connected that up. I like to, we want to need side quest. I like to just use it so I can see the progress of the headset, the status, if it's connected to the computer or not. So it's saying unauthorized. So I just need to allow some permissions. So allow USB debugging, allow access to data. And allow USB debugging again. Okay, so I don't want to enable Oculus Link. It's gone green. We don't actually need this anymore, but I'll just minimize it. We don't need it. And if we go to my computer, and if we scroll down, let's make this a little bit bigger. Go to Quest 2, XASH. So this is where we would have had Blue Shift and Gearbox. So this was Blue Shift, this was Opposing Force installed. First of all, go to wherever your Steam or your Blue Shift Opposing Force installation is. For me, it's in games, Steam, Steam apps, then common, then Half Life. There we go. So, what you want to do is copy over the contents of the B Shift HD. So, you literally want to go to B Shift, copy this, paste them here. I'm not going to do it because it can take a bit of time. So just paste it, override any files that it's asking you to override. Do the same thing for Gearbox HD, which is opposing force. Again, literally just copy all these folders into here and it will ask you to override some stuff. You know, just do that. Okay, next we need to install that HL Gold that we downloaded. So if we go to the download folder and if we just right click and go to 7-zip, extract to HL Gold. Shouldn't take long to extract. Apparently I already have a folder with it there. You won't get this issue. I already extracted it in advance. So I didn't actually need to do it, but I showed you anyway. And almost done. Here we go. So if we go to HL Gold in here, from here you want to copy over all of these files and go to B shift and paste them here. Again, they, these are gonna take a while. For me, they took almost an hour. Like it took a long time. So just be patient, it takes quite a long time. So copy that, paste it here, override anything that it asks you to override. And now you wanna do something similar for opposing force or the gearbox folder. And you wanna, again, go into here, copy this, you want to copy everything but models because there's some stuff in models that breaks the game. So you want to copy everything except for models. Copy that. 
paste it into the gearbox folder again override anything that it asks you because you want the replacements from here and that's it so once you've done that again that this process can take up to an hour just the copying and pasting side of it you won't have to be doing anything for an hour but just wait patiently once it's done we can actually launch our headset so if we launch up our headset okay also i want to show you i recovered in this previous video but i'll show you again anyway if you go into xash if you open up command line.txt remember you, it's gearbox if you want to do opposing force b shift if you want to do blue shift and you can just put remove this if you want to do the original half-life without hl gold and with hl gold you just put hl underscore gold underscore hd got a separate video covering that you can also use the lambda one vr launcher which i am gonna have another video how to do that or use the launcher so i can switch between them but the it doesn't really matter how you launch it now you were ready to launch the game so if i open up edge so i can actually cast my screen over i'm going to disconnect the headset so side quest should go red which it has and now if i launch up the casting feature So you should see the screen any moment now. Okay, you can see the screen. Let me grab the other controller. Now we simply go to all apps, go to the drop down. Strength and let, let me select that drop down. Let me Ooh, this whole thing is. Very strange. Literally, not let me select anything. Else. That's very strange. I'm going to take the headset off. Okay, make sure you can still see the screen. So you can't see it anymore. Let me just relaunch it. Let me just reboot the whole device. Okay, so we'll restart in the device. Shouldn't take long. So I think that's just more more of a device issue once that restarts we will show the game launching obviously from here you can just launch the game so you can either edit that command line text and do b shift or blue shift and gearbox for the opposing force manually or use something like lambda one vr launcher to switch between the installations which is a lot easier and like i said i'll have a separate video covering the lambda one vr launcher Okay, so we're in. It's asking me to confirm Guardian. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let me share my screen. Cast computer. And here we go. Should appear in a couple of seconds. Here we go. Okay, so from here, if I go to all apps, and go to the drop down, unknown sources. Now here, remember, you can just go to Lambda 1 VR, which will launch whatever configuration is in commandline.txt, or I'm just gonna use the Lambda 1 VR launcher. Once I get in here, you allow me to select any game that I want, you know, for the Half-Life stuff. So I'm gonna select the Blue Shift first, so launch this. And in here, make sure you go to configuration, video, video options, make sure you select allow materials done 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 new game and obviously if you have saved feel free to use them as well okay so we are now here turn the flashlight on and look around with it 
and the textures are looking a lot better now because of the character models up there. Make sure you can still see what I'm seeing. You can. And I mean, really, that's it. Obviously, you can just play the game now. So let me quit out of here. Let me show you opposing force as well. Launch opposing force. Again, make sure you go to configuration, video, video options. Make sure this is selected. You have a cross in there. For you, it might not be because I've already done it. So click new game, medium, or you know, whatever difficulty you want. And what would this be in the helicopter? Go into our mission. Okay, so there we go. This is the HD version of Posing Force. And that's it. I'll just quit out of here now. Lambda VR launcher crashed. So that's fine. That was just the launcher itself. That's not really relevant for what we're doing per se in this tutorial. But that is it. That is how you upgrade your opposing force and your blue shift installations on Quest 2 HD. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. You can contact us via Discord as well. There'll be a link in the description. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.